Hello and welcome back. Now, as I mentioned in some of my short videos, uh, I have the Dunlop Trialmax uh, missions installed on my Multistrada 950. A lot of you um, who follow me, uh, they ask, hey, when can we get the review? Now, I did uh, some extensive testing. Well, extensive testing, I didn't do a lot of off-road. Back in Germany, it's not really allowed. Uh, so, but um, I went a couple of nice mountain roads, as you may have seen uh, in the videos. Um, I tested uh, different air pressures, but uh, let's dig into the details. Hello, I'm Nikolai. Welcome to Spoke Wanderer. Let's roll. Now I did about 5,000, 5,500 kilometers with the Dunlop Trial Max missions here on my Multistrada 950 and I have to say um, I like them pretty much. Now I tried a lot of different tire pressures, started with uh, 41 psi which is recommended by uh, Dunlop for these uh, tires. Uh, they didn't work uh, well, uh, how should I say, they are rough and just too hard. Now I mean if you have the Pirellis, um, Ducati recommends in combination with uh, Pirelli, they recommend uh, in the front 1.6 and in the back 1.8 and uh, so I tried different pressures on this Dunlop. Uh, I started uh, with the standard as mentioned, then I went down uh, two bar and two bar in the back, PSI we will see in the picture, um, which was an improvement. Uh, now at the moment I have uh, in the front uh, 1.7 and in the back 1 uh, 1.8, 1.9, uh, 1.8 is it's definitely a, a very improvement. Uh, it feels more sticky. So when it's too hard, uh, you have no comfort at all. Uh, when it's uh, a bit more soft, uh, definitely the road contact is much better. And uh, you will see later when I'm driving, um, I tried it also in uh, different um, uh, speeds, different conditions, straight roads, autobahn and so on. Now let's roll a bit and uh, then I tell you a bit more. I have to tell you as well, I'm not sponsored by these guys. And uh, so this is uh, my personal opinion on these tires. Um, it has a different uh, uh, speed rating. It has a lower speed rating. It's only rated until 190 kilometers per hour. So versus the, the ones uh, from Pirelli, which uh, you can easily drive full speed, uh, no issue at all. Uh, these ones, uh, yeah, not really recommended, but a fantastic tire to cruise. And yeah. Let's roll. Now, today is perfect cruising uh, tires. So far, they work. I know uh, the Dunlop Trial Max Mission. I mean, it's not a race tire. We are two up. In the back, I have 1.9 bar. In the front, uh, uh, sorry, in the back, I have two bar. In the front, I have 1.9 bar. And they work quite well. So, look at this view down there, and another nice tunnel, but let's proceed. 
Now I'm, uh, I have to say I'm not an expert in taking this turn so it might uh, look a bit edgy but yeah it is what it is it's uh, about enjoying the ride and not taking uh, as fast as possible at the end of the day it is about uh, reaching safe the destination and if you need a couple of minutes more so be it and you want to enjoy the view I have to say the tires they feel quite well and there's low speed maneuvers they feel grippy and all so where they don't feel so nice is with higher speed but this was too exp uh, to be expected so above 150 they get quite uh, rough especially the front it gets a bit jumpy Now let's test the, the tires on the Autobahn and uh, see how they're gonna be uh, in different speeds. Now in, in turns and so we tried it and uh, they work quite uh, well as long as you don't overdo it. Hundred ten, no issue at all. Hundred thirty, you just feel the wind. Feels a bit up, so uh, we are a little bit protected. Hundred and thirty, no issue. Hundred fifty. The tire pressure what I have now is in the front 160 170 and they get a little bit unstable but I have also a bag on uh, the carrier in the back so the front is going a bit uh, zigzagging when you go so 150 uh, they feel extremely stable and I think motorbikes, uh, motorway speed, uh, highway speed, it's uh, more than okay. I mean, uh, I think you can see, uh, this is also from the wind uh, that is going, so it's not necessarily uh, a pleasant feeling. So that's why I prefer um, countryside roads. Takes a bit longer, but if you have small stretches, you still can cover uh, some mileage with it. And I think if you uh, drive uh, continuously 100, uh, 30, 140, uh, it's more than sufficient. Uh, anyway, in some, in most of the countries, you have a speed limit uh, on the highways. So for this, uh, they should be absolutely perfect. Now when you see here this is the front tire uh, this is now 5,000 kilometers uh, on this tire uh, lean angle I think I was uh, up to here somehow so yeah you can quite uh, lean with them uh, not uh, too much down so it's not a race tire uh, obviously I did back in Romania a little bit of uh, forest riding a uh, little bit gravel riding I had also a situation where it was a little bit mud and they close quite fast with that so it's not the 100% uh, idea tire so 
Dunlop says it's a 50-50 tire. Well, I would say it's a 30-70. This is okay, gravel roads, uh, no issue at all. Um, yeah, uh, the tire is quite fun and uh, it's like, how should I say, they have a good mileage so far. Let's see how many we can do. I heard from people they did uh, 10, 12,000 miles on it. So about uh, 12 to 15,000 kilometers and uh, then they changed them. Now another thing what Dunlop made, uh, they made in the front and in the back uh, the, the rubber compound a bit different. So they say it's, it minimizes the wear or let's say it, it gives you equal wear. When I remember back the Pirelli Scorpion uh, Rally STRs, the front one was uh, still quite okay, versus the red tire was uh, almost gone. So there was the wear not equal. So now here, uh, I think they put a different, um, how should I say, different compound, so have the equal wearing. So the front profile also feels a bit more soft uh, when you touch it than the red tire. As mentioned, I had to experiment a little bit with the tire pressure. Uh, 41 PSI uh, didn't work for me. It's far too hard, far too undrivable on this bike. Now I have uh, 1.7 bar uh, and uh, 1.8, uh, 1.9 bar with pillion uh, in the back. And this works quite uh, nice for me. So um, now it took quite long. Uh, exactly like uh, I think almost four months uh, to make this video or to finalize this video better said uh, 5,500 kilometers down the road uh, I collected the video material over the last uh, months uh, driving in Tyrol uh, driving here in uh, in Germany um, Austria uh, Süd Tyrol in Italy and uh, I had some very enjoyable rides uh, you can see up uh, the video link uh, to this ride, uh, Timmel's Joch uh, and the other ones. Um, some of the footage I, um, or I tried also the tires uh, during uh, these rides and um, I'm pretty impressed. I was once in a, in a turn which uh, closed in and I had to push the bike uh, into the corner and the tires, they did exactly what I want. The red tire is a bit uh, rough, uh, so to say. Uh, it's not as, as, as uh, grippy as the front tire, uh, but uh, no issue at all. Uh, it gives you extremely good feedback, so I'm happy with the tires. And yeah, let's uh, take some closer look. Uh Now I hope this uh, 5,500 kilometer review of the Dunlop Trial Max mission on these little babies um, gave you some information how the tires perform here on my Multistrada 950. Now um, there is some videos out, but not on the Multistrada so far. Now beautiful, now the sun comes out, excellent. And um, yes, I didn't have really the chance to ride them in heavy rain. Uh, sorry for that. Uh, so I will definitely uh, try to catch some rain. Unfortunately, whenever I was touring, uh, weather was quite pleasant or it was so much raining that I couldn't mount uh, the, the GoPro. So the few times I rode in the rain, no issue at all. Uh, certainly, like always, with snobby tires, keep a bit uh, uh, the speed down uh, in uh, in turns uh, and uh, then you should be absolutely uh, good to go. Now uh, in regards of where uh, my last tire is the Pirelli Scorpion STR I changed with 5500 kilometers so they didn't even scratch the surface yet so far. Yes the compound is a bit harder uh, they are not uh, V-rated uh, as the uh, uh, Scorpion STRs uh, so you can't uh, go way above 200 so and yes uh, when you go a bit faster than 160 they become a bit wobbly so I can live with that yeah um, by purpose I uh, choose this tire uh, because I wanted to go a little bit off-roading back in Romania. Uh, there is allowed here in Germany everything unfortunately is, is prohibited, it's not allowed. Okay, on one point I can understand, but this would be a different subject. 
now um i make an update video once i gonna change them so not so soon most likely uh as soon i wear uh, wear them off uh, i gonna make a final conclusion or i gonna uh, give you a real long-term review uh, of the lifespan of these tires uh, did i have any challenges uh, and so on um, tire pressure as mentioned uh, 41 psi which is uh, uh, which is actually mentioned from uh, dunlop uh, doesn't work on this bike maybe on other bikes but here it doesn't so i have in the front uh, 1.6 to 1.7 bar and in the back uh, 1.8 bar and uh, they work for me quite well uh, the rear tire yes uh, it feels a bit slippery sometimes the front uh, compound wise is uh, more grippy but uh, they give you extremely uh, good feedback so no issue at all well i'm gonna hit the road again now enjoy some more riding and uh, i hope i give you enough information uh, in this video please uh, leave me a comment down below give me a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and i see you soon i'm nikolai your spoke wanderer ciao for now